The New Forest, a national park in England, was a royal hunting ground since the time of King Canute. William the Conqueror, however, was the first to call the area Nova Forester, the New Forest, in 1079. Lindhurst is a large village with a location in the heart of the forest, which has established it as the capital of the New Forest. It's a popular base to explore the forest area, with hiking, cycling or horse riding among other interests. It's an ancient village with over 1,000 years of history. There's been a settlement here since Anglo-Saxon times and became the regular holiday destination of the kings and queens of England. And this is reflected in the Tudor and medieval buildings at the top of the village, in particular the Crown Hotel. This Grade 1 listed Tudor building has been around for over 500 years. Unfortunately, despite all the wealth of history of the village, it's become more famous for the wrong reason. Being in the centre of the forest, all roads converge together into the village, bringing the inevitable large amount of traffic into the ancient narrow streets. Regular traffic jams, honking horns and hold-ups are a regular occurrence in the village, and crossing the roads becomes an unfortunate hazard. This is particularly worse in the summer months. Despite the traffic, the village is very popular with tourists exploring the area. A collection of antique stores, boutiques, cafes and pubs. A number of the stores have references to Alice in Wonderland, like the Mad Hatter Shop. The woman who gave inspiration for Alice was buried in the village churchyard. An unusual sight in the village is finding for Harari have set up shop in the high street, which is quite a draw for car enthusiasts. Lindhurst is also a mecca for families enjoying biking and cycling in the new forest. Lindhurst caters well to the interests with bike rental shops, repair shops, among other facilities. Another main attraction of the village is the Victorian Gothic Church. It has a rich history and can trace its origins back to the 13th century when Queen Eleanor of Castile, wife of Edward I, made an offering here. The church was replaced in the 18th century and then again in the 19th century. The spire was very expensive to build at the time, costing three times the average church costs, and Queen Victoria herself donated money to help with the construction costs. The church itself is a treasure trove of pre-Raphaelite and Victorian architecture. It's a grade one listed building, and many visitors around the world come to view the amazing frescoes inside. So be sure to stop by the church when visiting the village. Also, for visitors in the centre of the village is a new forest heritage centre, which is free to enter, and is a little museum about the heritage and the history of the village and the new forest area. It's usually open most days up till about 4pm. But despite the traffic issues, the village very much still is an attraction to the 13 million visitors to the new forest every year. Thanks for watching and see you again on another video about historic England.